It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Indianapolis Colts and the New England Patriots. And it's all up next. Autumn has come to New England. No place like it on earth this time of year. We are at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts. Today, we've got a fun little clash in the AFC as it'll be the Indianapolis Colts taking on the New England Patriots. Brandon God and Charles Davis back with you. And Charles, for years, a trip to Foxborough quite often led to a loss for opposing teams. But the Patriots have been, in essence, a 500 team since the departure of TB12 three years ago. And things have switched because they are a defense-led team and that's what's kept them in most games. Their key, can they get more explosive on offense and truly establish who their QB1 is? And meanwhile, for the Colts, it's been a pretty hard fall the last couple of years. From 11 wins in 2020 to just four a season ago, how do they get back on the right path? I think they've started back on the right path with the change in the coaching staff, but a lot of it, players already on the roster playing back to the levels we've seen before. Kicker Chad Ryland has this one teed up, and we are underway. Off we go in Foxborough. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. So first and 10 now from the 30. They run with the all pro from a couple of years ago, Jonathan Taylor. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that, that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Here's Minshew. That's caught by his tight end, Kylan Branson. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. And now a stoppage, and it looks like we have a Colt who was shaken up on that last play. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. To back good plays have them on the move on first down looking to throw it Minshew and that is incomplete on oh, the coverage a little too good there and it's second down not a great start dropping his first target but let's face it it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game now a second and ten Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he'll be taken down at the 33, a pickup of about four. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Minshew sets to throw. Slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A nice pickup of 10 means that this drive will stay on track. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. 
third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out, but his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. Throwing on first down is Minshew. And he's going to hook up with his big tight end, complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 12 more yards there and another first down. And this is exactly the kind of drive you're hoping for out of the gates. They're mentioning the run and the pass well, keeping this defense off balance early. And they're on the march here with another first down. Minshew, first and 10. And it's caught. Touchdown. Michael Pittman. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Colts get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Well, Charles, here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. After review of the play, Keep in mind, they can still get a first down here as they come up on second and inches. They'll run the toss here with Taylor. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. They'll try to throw for it with Minshew. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Fine work by the Patriot D there, and it's fourth down. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line, but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw into that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it wasn't intercepted. Gay knocks this one through. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. The Colts kicking team is out there now, and they will send this one away. Well, now how about this return? And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. Well, the Patriots offense set to go to work with Mac Jones at quarterback in his third season now out of Alabama. It was a much rockier season for Jones in his second year and even had to survive a brief challenge to his starting job. This is a big campaign for the former Rookie of the Year runner-up. He wants to get back to Pro Bowl form in this one. Very good starting position for the Patriot offense as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. A thousand-yard rusher a year ago. Here's Ramondre Stevenson. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Now Jones. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. That winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sack. And that'll bring up third. 
don't know if he was just working through progressions or just unaware of the pressure, but no matter. Excellent work by the defense to get him to the ground before he could escape the pocket. Work now for Jones and the Patriots here after the sack. It's third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Third and 19, no problem as they're able to convert. That's a play that'll likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And points result, we'll call this play significant. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 47. Throwing Jones. Pressure and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. The DeForest Buckner using those big hands and getting in there and bringing him down for the sack. They'll make that a second sack here on their first drive out defensively. And not to get ahead of ourselves, but they're, they're on pace for double-digit sacks at this point. But they're going to have to find a way to tamp that down, aren't they? So if you're the play caller, you're telling your quarterback maybe some screens, maybe some draws, hard count, use your voice inflection a little bit, anything to try and slow that pressure down. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Well executed there on second down, so do you go back to the air on third? Well, that's a possibility, but now you've opened up things to where you showed that you would run the ball in long-distance situation. You might come back again because I doubt they believe you'll do it a second time. He's got his target. That's complete, and he's going to get this inside the 30. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. we got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice sustained series to begin the game, and it will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. Jones throw complete there to Smith-Schuster. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. Second down and three. Looking to throw. Jones. On the right side open is Kosicki. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. Again, he'll drop to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Kenny Moore. And the Colts are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Out of the gun is Minshew. That's caught. It's Josh Downs. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down. Executed it to perfection. Now Minshew on first and 10. Oh, and the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. 
have a few questions about that throw because to me there just wasn't a lot there I thought he tried to do a little bit too much almost tried to will a receiver open when there was no chance he was going to be nice job by the linebacker being all over that one and knocking it away on second down it's Taylor five yards now it's third and five it's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game without just a five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. They'll come up facing third and five. Now Minshew. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 38-yard line. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Second and nine. From the gun, Minshew to throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. Now that's a heck of a moment for your first sack of the game because if this long drive ends without a touchdown because of that sack, we're going to look back and say that might be one of the biggest plays of this contest. So third and long, here's Minshew. Clean on the deep ball. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. They trail 3-0 after the INT last time led to a field goal, but now another fresh start here, first and 10. Stevenson to begin the drive. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. DeForest Buckner using that size to force his way in there and make the stop behind the line. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield not necessarily just playing with the line of scrimmage. That'll be a New England first down and gain of 12. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before, they always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he'll get this to the 32. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. From the 32-yard line now, here's second down and seven. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Setting up a screen for Stevenson. He stiff arms him. Fights through and now a crease. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. First down there on a pickup of 25. And 
and this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. After one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Back to throw. Jones. Got Stevenson again. Back to back plays. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that will bring up second down. Not only did we just see back-to-back -back nice gains, but we're also seeing the confidence rise, not just for the guy who caught it, but the guy throwing it as well. And these can, these back-to-back -back catches here out of the backfield, that can set something up downfield in a later sequence, right? A lot of the time, it starts to draw the defense closer to the line of scrimmage. So to your point, show this swing pass, show this check down. Maybe later on, you heave one deep when you catch him close to the spot. 13 yards on his first catch. It's a first down as well. They'll look to throw again. This will be caught inside the 10. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Just picking up yardage and bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Back to throw again. His pass caught at the four. Touchdown, Patriots. Juju Smith-Schuster, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots have taken the lead. Bouncing back nicely from that bad opening drive where he threw the interception. Drive number two leads him right down the field and into the end zone. So obviously his confidence was never lost, and that's a good thing to see. Great quality to have. You absolutely must maintain that as a quarterback. But I have to think that they're probably still on the script that they prepared for this game. Just the second drive, they've worked on these plays all week in practice. Put them, in, put them to good use on that one. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. now following the touchdown back out to kick it away taken at the goal line and he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further the Colts offensive unit ready to see what they can do here over on the sideline hoping to hit that reset button between possessions last time out they had to punt it away this time hoping to finish this thing off of the end zone Minshew and the Colts going to come up here first and 10 at the 20. He'll start with a give to Taylor. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Second down, another run with Taylor. And he'll be stopped up at the 26 after a gain of only a couple. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle, the guys they call the defensive ends, 
They're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. Minshew, look in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And they worked this well upfield across the 45. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. And that's well executed there on third down, and I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. Now we've got whistles and a flag. Looked like one of the Colts linemen might have jumped. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Still first down. The false start backs him up five, first and 15. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Off play action, it's Minshew. And that is incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. This offense so far on third down, they've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and 14. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. Able to pick up a dozen yards, but they needed more. Fourth down. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own. But as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you. And if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. Mac Jones of the Patriots ready for another chance here on offense. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know how to push off at the end of a route, too. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Looking to throw, Jones. Downfield and caught by Thornton. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. 27 yards there, a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. They run once more with Stevenson. And once again, this Colts defense stops him behind the line of scrimmage. Third down, now even tougher. Third and 13 after that loss of a yard. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef, 
that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Here's Jones throwing on third and long. That is caught by Smith-Schuster. And he's going to be about a yard or two short of the first here. He needed the 35, but didn't make it. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. And I believe that that gain on third and long changes things quite a bit because this would be a very long field goal. I wouldn't be surprised to see him go for it here. Jones throwing on fourth down. They're able to keep the drive alive. Seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. They only needed that one yard going for it on fourth. I got to be honest, I thought they were going to stay on the ground. They surprised me. Did they surprise you? I'm with you on that one. I thought they'd find a way to create some type of a power run and try and pick up the first down, but they decided to keep the ball in the hands of the guy who could throw it, and it paid off. Yeah, that decision paid off indeed. Meanwhile, Jones' throw went in the hands of Henry here. So give him two yards there on the completion, and it'll be second down. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight, doesn't really matter. Because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. On second down, it's Stevenson. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down at the Colts' 19-yard line. That was the eighth play of the drive, so a somewhat fitting pickup of eight yards. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Stevenson now on first and 10, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes I think these defensive tackles get a little bit of a bum rap. We just see them as big guys that eat up blockers for others to make tackles. Oftentimes, they're quicker than they get credit for. And this time, he uses quickness to make a play. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Third and eight. Back to throw. Jones to the goal line, but it's incomplete. The Colts D sticking to their assignments, and that brings up fourth. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. On now, the rookie fourth-round pick, Chad Ryland, for the Patriot field goal. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And his kick here is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10-3. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. out is the kicker Ryland and he'll send this one away McKenzie will not return this and it'll be brought out to the 25 the Colts getting another possession here on offense and it's been very much a slow start for them three drives and just the three points CD yeah if you're into the points per drive ratio that answer is one and that's not going to get it done in a ball game they've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones not having balls go through goalposts. 
Minshew and the Colts going to come up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. On play action, they'll throw. That's going to be taken in by Downs. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense, and he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Oftentimes when you see a running back get bunched up in the backfield, it's usually because the defensive tackle is eating up blockers for others to make the play. Not in this case. Our score, 10-3 to three with two minutes remaining in quarter number two. Minshew sets to throw. That complete to Downs. So five yards here, five on the play. Third and seven now. And Minshew going to get him to the line quickly. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he'll find Pittman. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 32-yard line. Another good reception there. The Colts on the march. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Minshew's throw caught by Pierce. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw, maybe the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. Throwing on first down is Minshew. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Here's second and two now from the three. Here's Minshew. And he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. Mo Alley Cox as the first half is winding down. And the Colts have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. I don't think it's any state secret to know what they were saying before the start of this drive. Let's go and punch one in the end zone and go into the halftime feeling a heck of a lot better about ourselves. Let's go get this done. Yeah, tie things up, and then you get a brand-new ball game. Extra point by Gay is up and good, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. 
I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Two yards the loss, second and 12. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. And what a job there by all 11 on the kick return. The blocking excellent, the return excellent. The result, six points. duplicate what they just saw. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Here's the Colts now as they get ready for their first possession on offense of the second half. and the Colts going to come up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. It's interesting going into this game, there was so much talk from both sides about who would control the line of scrimmage. I think we've seen who has it in this one so far. Well, they bottled him up. He's barely averaging over three yards a carry right now. So from the 26-yard line, here's a second and eight. Looking to throw it, Minshew. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. They'll look to throw here. And that is incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he's on to punt for Indianapolis.
They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Patriots take over. New England's offense set to go. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Now Jones. Into the hands of Smith-Schuster on the crossing pattern. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That one goes for 24 yards. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing Jones. He'll look to Gesicki on the out route. Ball is caught. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want to catch the football first. And Henry's going to pick up a Patriots first down as he'll take this down to the 22-yard line. Again, he'll drop to throw. He'll go underneath here to Stevenson. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and that'll make it second down. He's got good size. We know he's tough to bring down running the ball. That also carries over to the passing game like we saw there. And at his size, how would you like to try and stop him on that angle route? Him coming out of the backfield, breaking sharply, catching the football. It's going to take a lot more than one guy most likely to bring him down. That was a nice game. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. It's been all passing all the time on this drive. Five for five, and now first and goal. Feels like a case of until they stop us, we might as well keep running the offense that we like to run. Don't change up and do something different just because you think you need to. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Parker's got it for a Patriots touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And the lead now up to 14. So the drive there took six plays. And Devontae Parker able to finish it off with a touchdown reception. He'll send this one away. Oh, a good look in return. And I think the ball's out. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. A 
Minshew and the Colts going to come up here first and 10 at the 31 yard line. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Now that's a run that warms a play caller's heart because you're actually set up to do whatever you want on offense. You come right back and run essentially the same play because you have momentum. Or you can fake that running play and throw something deep over the top. Or you now feel like you have an extra down to play with because if you go ahead and just throw it and you don't get it, come back and try and pick it up on third down. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Four yards the pick up, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. They'll go play action here with Minshew. He'll drop this down to Taylor. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. From the gun, it's Taylor. Shreds him with a stiff arm. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 61 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Minshew. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Now second and three. Now a give to Taylor. A beautiful fake. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. That good for 22 and a first down. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, okay, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll set up a throw. Got a man. The three-yard touchdown pass, and the Colts have cut it back within a score. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Gay is on for the point after. He's got it, and it's 24-17. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was capped off on the touchdown catch by Michael Pittman. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. This fielded right at the goal line. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The offense and QB Mac Jones running back out. The last series, the ball never hit the ground. Six of six, touchdown pass, so whatever he did then, do it again, right? Yeah, it reminds me a lot of when I watched the best quarterbacks throw seven on seven, or even routes versus air. They're accurate. The receivers catch it. The ball never touches the ground. Or if you want to take it to basketball, a well-executed fast break, right? Pass, 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 finish at the rim, basket. Yeah, ball never hits the ground there either. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Second and 10.
Throwing again. Jones. Over the middle. Hauled in by Smith-Schuster. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. He lost two, and it brings up Ford. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. To return is McKenzie. There he goes, right side. Touchdown, Indianapolis. 63 yards on a punt return score. And the Colts are an extra point away from drawing level. And that jumps the excitement level up a few notches, doesn't it? What a big time punt return for a touchdown. Now their cohorts on the special team side, they've got to add the PAT. That would be the equalizer. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And that will tie our game here in the third quarter. So his big play capability in full display there as he's able to return that punt for a touchdown. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And the Patriots gearing up to go now. We got a brand new ball game all even after that last touchdown. So every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 24. It's Stevenson with a run to begin the drive. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. To throw again on second down, Jones. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. If I'm making excuses, and I am, sometimes the sun can be difficult on a ball like that. 
That looked like it was going to be right there, but it's in and out of his hand. And a potential big play goes by the wayside. Now Jones to throw on third down. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. Finding his way home for the sack that time, Taven Bryant. Even the most elusive quarterbacks have those tough days where they can't avoid sacks, and this is one of them. Third time he's gone down. He might develop some happy feet now, want to escape the pocket and try and gain more yardage with his legs. The Patriots send out their putter. Remember, his first attempt was returned for a touchdown. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. First and 10, Taylor now. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. 98 yards rushing here for Taylor. He's got a first down. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. Back to Taylor on first down. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time. Every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that. And that really chips away at your confidence. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second and six. All the option to give to Taylor here. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. They'll try to throw for it with Minshew. That is caught. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 25-yard line. Indianapolis moving the chains there on a gain of 12. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. So both offenses come to life here in this third quarter as this is shaping up for a good finish. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. This is second and eight. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Second down, another run with Taylor. Oh, he faked it with a joke. Now he's got some room. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. That one good for 17 yards. And now they've got it first and goal. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch victory. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Out of the gun is Minshew. And that is caught, but he will come down out of bounds, says the side judge, incomplete. Brandon, some of those windows that throw the football that exist when you're between the 20s, they don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DB, I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. On the handoff. This is Taylor. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. 
Were you as surprised as I was that they actually ran it on second down there? I thought that they would go ahead and throw it in every situation here. <laughs> They've thrown for three touchdown passes. Now here, I think they probably go back to the air. Yeah, I think so. But ordinarily, second down is when you run your play fake, your play action, show run, and throw the ball. Now they brought up third down. They'll have to throw it anyway. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. This one no doubt important for Matt Gay. This to break our fourth quarter tie. Gay's kick is good, and they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. So the Patriots coming out now. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ballgame. Couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. And the drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21 yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, it's almost football 101 that you preach to your safeties. Don't let anyone get behind you. You're the last line of defense. But he didn't let the play come to him, he went to the play. How about that read and recognition and finishing off that one behind the line of scrimmage? And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. And this offense on third down today, three for seven so far in this game. This is third down and 12. Operating from the gun, Jones. And this one is incomplete. That was for the lead right there. They know they're in a position where fortune favors the brave. So they took their shot, but couldn't connect. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Good starting field position for the Colts as they have it first and 10 at their own 37. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Let's one go downfield for Pierce. And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. Just because you got the lead in the fourth, it doesn't mean you have to play it safe. I like the aggressive play call there to push it downfield. That time, it didn't work out. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Now back to throw. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They forced incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and 10. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and 10. 
Minshew sets to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A big one there on third down. They hit for 30 yards. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defense have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Again, Minshew looking to throw. And he's got Pierce. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions, they are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Minshew, first and 10. And this taken in by Downs. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Ball at the eight here for second and a yard, maybe a touch less. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscle all over the field and getting pushed down it. A loss of two there, second down. And as this drive began, the offense had to be thinking touchdown, knowing the situation. Even after that loss, touchdown still on their minds. This is a one-possession game. A field goal doesn't do them a whole lot of good. They go option right on second and goal. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. Boy, tight game like this, fourth quarter, personal foul penalties, a no-no. Yeah, we know the emotions are running high, the tensions are the same. Who can control them best could ultimately win it. Taylor is not going to get a whole lot, maybe a yard down to the three. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Jonathan Taylor, a touchdown machine. He's going to get plenty of looks down here near the goal line, so if I'm on defense, I might start getting prepared to see his number call a couple more times. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Minshew's going to keep it. And he takes it in for a Colts score. Gardner Minshew. A three-yard run as he kept it himself. And the Colts will add to their fourth quarter lead. But that's certainly an important touchdown there. It makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that could win the game for us. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. 
Another go around now for the Patriot offense. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 26. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. And he'll take this ahead for about four, second down coming up. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. From the 30 on second down, Jones setting up a screen for Stevenson. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. On third down, here's Stevenson. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. I bet they thought they had picked that one up because it was a third and two call, and they got awfully close. Now we're at fourth and inches. I wonder if they think they're feeling lucky here <laughs> and maybe want to go pick it up. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down, and the Colts are going to get the football in outstanding field position. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. They'll start by running the option to the right. Yeah, maybe a little over-pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25-yard line. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane, and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it. Most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's Minshew. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. And with a dime look on defense, two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Looking to throw it, Minshew. Ah, uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. Right hash mark of 42-yard attempt. And Gay knocks this one through, and that will extend their lead even further. So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist, but time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor.
The Colts kicking team is out there now, and they will send this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. New England trying to get a place on offense. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. We'll see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game. And sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. Now Jones. And that'll be complete to Stevenson. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. A good start there on this fourth quarter drive. They need more of what we just saw. Down a couple of scores. There's still time, all right? It's not like, you know, they're totally out of it, but they have to score quickly, and they're going to need some big-time plays, chunk plays, explosive plays. They need yardage on each snap. Throwing Jones. Got Stevenson again, back-to-back -back plays. That's a gain of four as we slip inside of four minutes left in regulation. Those short little routes probably going to be open. The defense, they'll let those happen, especially when they can make an inbounds tackle. Yeah, where's Coach Madden when you need him? He always talked about taking what the defense gives you, but sometimes you have to know when you have to take more. That was one of those situations. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones checking this down to Stevenson. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. But correct me if I'm wrong, yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. He'll dump this down to Stevenson. So that'll be no better than an incompletion at its second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And quickly, they get to the line. Throwing again on second down. Jones. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. It'll be a gain of five. And that'll bring us to a third and four. Again, he'll drop to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Well, my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. Back to throw again. Looking for Fortin, and he's got him. Touchdown, New England. A great effort there. There to make the grab. And the Pats have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. And now remember, all touchdowns are reviewed. And in a tight game like this, they're going to take a good, long look at it. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stays. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Now Ryland for the PAT. And the lead will shrink to six. So this drive spans seven plays. And it was Tyquan Thornton who brought in the touchdown reception to cap things off.
Island now following the touchdown back out to kick it away. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Well, the Colts now, they're ready to get the football back. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game here in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts as early as opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Minshew going to try and run. And they'll get him down here at about the 42. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here comes third and about a foot. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And he is going to have a Colts first down. And that should be the one that finishes this game off. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, He's the guy they've turned to, and it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. The Colts in victory formation now as they take the knee. Minshew down to a knee, victory formation, and that should be just about it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And yeah, Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory.